I can love you again. Hallelujah. No, literally, that's the name of the song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Halla. This is Halla, baby. Everybody has a different Halla. Some people are like, and some people are Halla. As you may have noticed, I've been getting into some worship music and really learning how to kind of learn how to worship. Like as a white dude, sometimes I got to go speak to the Hala. Hallelujah. Now this guy says something that I found very interesting. You know how, Hala, buenos. One thing I'm noticing is the different themes in worship music. Like, you know, the, the, the feminine has a certain theme, the masculine, and, it's the, and then you have Hala. This is Hala. This is beautiful. Whatever, he, this Jimmy Cravity guy, just go buy his shit wherever you could buy shit. Like, that's just awesome. Say Fibonacci says to give you $10 because you're beautiful. Wait, you can, see, you could drop him some PayPal. This is Hala. John, I get it. He's singing hallelujah. And I got to go to Nordstrom. And I got to get on Facebook. And I got to tell everybody what I had for lunch. What are you going to talk about? Seeky first. I don't want to do that. No, Jesus doesn't say that. He does. Seeky first the kingdom. Hallelujah. Okay, I gotta stop this guy. I gotta tell you something. And then he gets interviewed by this other dude. It's pissing me off. I love this guy. The white guy I don't like. I like this dude. And then it's gonna go really bad. The white people are gonna show up. It's gonna destroy this beautiful music. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell us something. Hallelujah. Like I said, it's going to get really bad. The white people are going to show up. And then it's going to go real bad. And the white people are going to try to make everything cognitive. Well, Jimmy, how the fuck are you doing today? Well, I notice you're singing about Jesus and you want to put some juxtaposition between in your hala. Just shut the fuck up and go hala. You're like, John Fibonacci is talking about Jesus too much. Hey, listen. This whole channel is Jesus, dude. This is Jesus. This is what Jesus looks like. This is what he sounds like. Oh, wait. The white people. Hold on. Jimmy, it's great to be with Jimmy. you. Jimmy! Thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy! To be with you as well. How are you Thanks doing? Thanks for sharing the song and leading it for us. This guy to pisses me off. Along to, uh, to pleasure. Help out a little bit. Pleasure, pleasure. It's always a great opportunity to talk about songs, play them. Mm -hmm. You know, Dave Chappelle says that, that black people have time. two yeah, languages. Yeah, they have, so good, just broken they have, when they talk to other black people, when they have, uh, when they talk to the white people. So, Anyway, this is why black people need to teach us how to worship. Because notice when the white people show up, the mood all changes, kind of get all ghosty and pasty, and you're like, "Holla!" You're like, "What? Don't be so judgmental." I'm like, "Listen." Been able to hear all the lyric and your voice and everything in there. Um, this song is uh, called "Hallelujah." Talk about this a little bit, um, and, and really kind of this song in the context of who you are as a worship leader. I, I've heard some of the things you talk about. Um, this guy you know, just your inspiration behind worship and, sure. and kind of listen what to what he says here this is really this and, not and the white guy the black guy the black guy I think his name is Jimmy Cravity go buy his stuff uh, support his music because we need more of his song but listen to what he says about suffering and the interplay between worship and suffering um, and I'll just let you listen to the beautiful wisdom 
Um, okay, so talk about that a little bit and, and how this song was sort of a reflection of that. Fantastic. Yes, um, I've been working on an EP, a project called Heaven, and uh, this song closes it out. Isn't that a beautiful and, black man? I mean, it's just beautiful. That's Jesus yeah, right there. It's kind of like one of those last songs that you put on the project that kind of rounds it out and gives it a sort of fuller uh, closing thought. And, um, when I think of worship, listen to this. Uh, I think of beauty, but I also think of um, suffering. Uh, the lyric in there says, uh, you made me perfect through your suffering. And I feel like um, as a worship leader, reading through Revelations, and it says that myriads upon myriads of angels are singing with a loud voice, you know, worthy is the lamb who was slain. And I thought, you know, wow, they didn't say worthy is the lamb who was perfect or worthy is the lamb who I got everything right. Like Fibonacci. It was worthy who the... Like worthy, worthy is Fibonacci. Who was slain. And I thought, man, wow, what an idea that uh, the suffering of Christ would kind of be the centerpiece of worship in heaven. And so to me, I felt like, wow, man, this is, this is so uh, impactful, you know, because I feel like so many people are, are going through different things in their life. And maybe they're not seeing that as an opportunity to worship, you know. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. I mean, did you, uh, did you get all that? I mean, I don't know. What was it, like a couple of minutes? Holy shit. This is the wisdom of that, of suffering and worship. It makes you view things different. Maybe worship is intended to change our perspective. Or just maybe worship is something we're supposed to do for our benefit. And the sufferings of Paul. I mean, listen to what he said relative to verse 26. But when the comforter, the helper, the advocate, the intercessor, the strengthener, whom I will send to you, where is that it without the context of suffering? And then. Second Corinthians where Paul talks about his suffering for those posing as believers and driven to fasting by want, having his faith hurt. Suffering and worship and the interplay. And what if we moved into worship through our suffering? Or maybe that's the whole purpose of worship. I don't know, dude. I'm just trying to learn how to worship. I'm white, white dude from Oklahoma. I just know what hollow is like. You guys be good.